Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel. Today I've got a makeup haul for you guys. So I did order a few things on Morphe. I'll just get right into it. I'm so excited. So I am so excited about this. I absolutely love Morphe and I got these three things that I'll be showing you guys today. So the first thing that I ordered was the AZ Star Blazer Highlighter Palette. The next thing that I got is the 35G Bronze Goals Palette and this is um, an eyeshadow palette. So there are a whole bunch of colors in here and I'm so excited as well. Um, so yeah. Next thing I got is the new Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. Um, so we'll see how that's going to go. I did see a few reviews that this isn't very good on dry skin, which is me. I have dry skin, so I don't know why I got this. I kind of just went a little crazy. I kind of just wanted to blow my money on something, so I got this spray. And then I just saw that they um, they have, what's it called? They just came out with a luminous spray as well, which I ordered too, so I'm waiting on that. I literally just ordered it as well. I got two of those, so I'm going to wait for those to arrive, and then I'll do another review on that to see. I'll kind of do like um, a side-by-side -side comparison as well, so you can see the difference with the mattifying and the luminous spray too. So, yeah. Okay, so I haven't opened these at all, and I've already prepped my face because I wanted to show you guys one of the colors, because obviously um, I want to do my makeup. Oh, that's right. I didn't go into the specifics of it real quick. So I ordered them on the 19th and then they didn't get shipped until the 22nd of April. Um, so now it's the 4th of May. So I actually got these about two days ago and I just haven't had the time to really go through it and show you guys. And I didn't want to open them as well. I really wanted to open them and do like a first impressions for you guys as well. Um, so that's <laughs> I've been literally going crazy and dying to open them. So like I said, I've already prepped my face, so now I just really need to finish my eyes. So I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so this is the packaging as well. So some details um, at the back here, the many shades and whatnot. Um, I really like the Morphe packaging. It's so pretty. It's just, it's so sleek and simple. I don't know, it's just, I like it. Comes in that. This seems so like professional, um, but I love it. It's just so nice. It looks like a laptop. <laughs> okay, so get rid of this film. Oh, that's so cool. It has the names. I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> Did not know that. Okay, there you go. Here are my colors. Sorry, my ring light is a bit bright. But that is beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. Okay. So I have no idea which color I'm even going to put on because they're all fucking beautiful. Um, but it's a mix of matte colors and um, shimmer as well. I absolutely love shimmer. It's like shimmer is just my thing. Um, they did actually, after I ordered this, I saw that there was another palette and it was just all shimmers. But I was, so I was a little bit devastated. I'm like, oh my god, I should have just got that one. But this is okay. This is like a mix of shimmer and mattes and. Sometimes, you know, you just want to be a little bit more natural natural and um, whatnot. So I'm kind of like, I'm still, I'm still really happy that I got this one. So it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pop this back on. So I'm just going to go do my usual thing. I do have another video on how I do all my, on how I do my makeup and whatnot. So you can check that out. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, but I'm just gonna go straight in and do my little cat eye and whatnot, so I'll be right back. So I've decided I'm just gonna do some swatches on my arm on all of, all of the colors on here, just so you guys can have a better view and um, so you can guys can really see the color a little bit more clearer and what it's gonna look like on the, your actual skin. So I'm gonna start from the top here and I'm just gonna go down. 
So I won't show you each colour, but you know, I'll just swatch them on my arm. perfect now that we're done seeing all the colors i'm just going to do my eyeshadow now let me know which one that you guys thought was your favorite um i absolutely loved all the colors i was literally like mesmerized by all of them i gotta say though my favorite the one that surprised me the most was this brown one over here that one's called wait which is this one's called burnt so that one 
this one it's called burnt that one took me by surprise I was really into that like it was it had those little specks of like those sparkly specks um, it wasn't a shimmer it was just like these sparkly specks in there and I was like oh my god so I'm definitely going to put that on now and then I'll put uh, what's this? on the top part of my eyelid I'm gonna put um, this darker one here night dip that's what it's called yeah night dip um, so I'm gonna put that on the outer eye and my upper eyelid or whatever so yeah let's see how these are gonna look one thing I forgot to mention as well, so all three products, I did get them, um, they did have a little sale going on, and they always have sales going on all the time, so keep an eye on it, and I would definitely recommend to get this palette because it's literally, it literally has all the colors that you would need if you wanted to do like more of a natural, neutral color, or even if you want to be, go a bit more bold and dark, it's got that for you as well, and then you've got your really bright yellowy golds and whatnot, like, ugh. So freaking perfect, I love it. So so my order for all of these items, um, it did all come out to be $53. So yay, that is a freaking bargain. I'm so happy. Um, and it was definitely, definitely these are worth the price for sure. Definitely worth it. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into doing my eyeshadow now. So I'll be right back. I'll usually go in with some eyeshadow for the bottom just to kind of make it pop a little more but I kind of don't feel like it today so I'm liking this look right now so I'm happy now that I finished my eyes I'm going to move into my highlight so where did I put it so here it is um, it's the exact same packaging and it's the AZ star blazer highlighter palette so we're gonna have a look in the yeah packaging is all the same so cute I like that little effect there um, same packaging same little pack as well and it has Morphe at the top and ooh. and it tells you right there so if anyone doesn't know you see that little container looking thing oh. This little container thing here that you see should be on all of your makeup so if you see this little thing it just tells you how long your makeup is going to last for um, so on this one so mine it says it's for 12 months so it says 12 m 12 months um, so yeah just in case anyone didn't know that already because I did get a question once um, when the makeup expires which I was like oh it has it on there so in case you didn't know that already um yeah moment of truth oh my god that was such a bad opening <laughs> this is quite nice i like that so i'm just gonna do a quick swatch because I don't want this video to be like, to be too long, so I'm just gonna do a real quick swatch for you guys. Oh, it's pink. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's come off pink. So I used this one, the white one. I thought it was gonna be white.
that is a very nice color too very similar to extra except it's just a little bit more white Here are the colors more in like natural lighting. So those are all the highlights and I really don't know which one I want to put on like. All right. Okay, so I've made up my mind. I'm going to put extra on my cheekbone and then I'm going to put what was the other one and I'm going to put spark as well so that was like that very soft pink I'm gonna put that here like on my little what is that even called I don't even know what that's called but yeah like where I smile in my little circle area <laughs> I put that so it kind of has that little sparkle and then it's kind of like a blush too because it's kind of pink so I need to go get my brush I'll be right back so I forgot to wash my highlighter brush and it's still got a lot of product from my other highlighter which I don't want to use because it, I feel like the other one is a lot stronger than these so I'm going to just use this normal eyeshadow brush <laughs> um, just to apply it on my cheekbones um, and I did just wash this as well so there's no nothing no other products on here as well um, so yeah I'm going to go in with the extra Definitely looks like my other my other highlighter anyway, like the one that I've been using before this. This is pretty though. Okay, let me get rid of this. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with Spark and put it there on my little smiley area. This is looking pretty decent. I'm not going to go in anymore. And now I'm just going to finish it off with my mattifying spray. So, what the fuck? Did I just break it? Ooh, that smells really good. This one has a really nice scent to it actually. I'm going to have this makeup on throughout the day and then I'll put an update on how it looks later on. I'll probably just do a voiceover or maybe um, I'll try to record and then I'll try to take some pictures and record and then I'll put them onto the video here um, just so you guys can have a look and see on how it kind of turned out throughout the day. Um, so I do have dry skin so this might be different for everybody. Everyone has different skin. So my, yeah, I have really dry skin especially, um, especially in this area right here around my mouth. Um, and then occasionally I will get um, a little bit dry around here um, and around here too it's mostly around my mouth area that's where it gets super dry and it gets crusty and whatnot so i'm not sure how this is going to look at me and so we'll see this smells so nice okay i, I gotta say this one definitely has a really nice scent to it compared to the original one whoa
Okay, this was really squirting on my face. This is broken. Don't tell me my shit's fucked. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh. It really wet my face. Um, it felt like someone just threw like water, like. Definitely felt like someone just threw water right at my face. It, it definitely does not feel like the original. The original is very light and soft and it just like, whoosh, you know, all over your face. Um, this one that was squirting, you know how like, I think it's jammed. I think my little pump thing is jammed or something because that just went, it was nice at the start and then it just went pssst, on my freaking face. So, oh my God, what the fuck? Okay, definitely think my thing is broken because I can feel it's a lot stronger on the right side. So that's annoying. I'm really annoyed now. I have drops. Can you see these freaking drops right now? Um, but I can feel my face my face feels like it's getting harder <laughs> like not sticky but definitely oh what the fuck ew it went on my clothes and now my clothes feel like they went a bit hard ew. but it smells good Okay, so I'll let that dry. All right, so I've let it dry for a few minutes now and I really hope you guys can see this because I'm I'm so not happy right now. So. It's left little specks on my face now. And on my forehead. Oh, come on. On my forehead it's like oh, I don't think you can really see it but it's like that powder it's like turned into powder and you can definitely if you if you go really close up to the mirror you can see that there's like little white powders sticking up from the hairs like it's making my hairs on my face really noticeable ew what the fuck is this yeah this is not <laughs> I should have thought about it. I don't know if you can see it. I really hope you can. It definitely did its job and I can see that it's mattified everything. Like you can see my highlighter it definitely looks a lot more mattified now. It's still shimmery, but definitely matte. Um, really do not like how it's left my skin um you can't really see it from far away i think i'll have a look when i do my editing and whatnot but in the mirror i had a really good look and it's fucked i'm telling you now right here especially because you know how you have like tiny little tiny 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 little fine hairs i can see them now because that spray has turned i don't know it turned into powder and it's white and you can really see it um wherever you have little fine hairs it's going to be really noticeable now so I'm, i really don't like this i'm so annoyed why did i get you <laughs> when i know i have dry skin <laughs> so eh, definitely no so okay i'll give it some time maybe it needs to like melt in i don't know but so far we're off to a really bad start so mm, no um i'll definitely give you an update later on i'm just gonna leave it on my face and then we'll see how it goes um i feel my i feel like my face is really like tacky no not tacky um my face feels stuck in a way like 
everything's just stuck on my face right now. Um, I don't even know how else to put it. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite glad I got the luminous one coming so, because my original spray is about to finish. So I don't think I'm going to be using this one that much. So I might do a giveaway on this. I might have to do a giveaway on this because I don't think I'm going to be using this. Someone who's got, this would be really good, I think, on someone who has really oily skin, um, which is not me. I do get oily throughout the day, though, in my T-zone, um, but everything else is super dry, and I just, I'd rather be oily than be fucking dry, so. Uh, I don't know why I got this. Well, pretty much the rest of the day later, I've had it on for a good seven hours, I'd say. So, yeah. So, as you can see, my makeup still kind of looks okay. I just wanted to leave an update as well because I was hating on the spray earlier and I had a good look and that powdery thing that I was talking about actually went away. Um, so, once you let it actually settle, it does clear up, but it was like the biggest shit show when I was looking at it when I first spread it on my face I was like what the fuck is this <laughs> um, but no it's actually pretty good um, for someone like me who has pretty dry skin it didn't crack a lot um, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of get a better look so my t-zone I usually sweat no I usually get pretty oily which it did like a tiny bit, but I feel like it's more, it's not as oily as it usually gets, which is really strange. It's great, but <laughs> it's actually really good. Um, so in this part here, I usually would get super oily as well, but it's actually kept my makeup and everything pretty intact. Um, not so much here, I've been scratching I've been scratching um, around my nose in the last um, for a while now. It's just pretty a bit shiny here, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So, I'm sorry, I take back what I said about the spray, it's not shit, <laughs> okay, it's actually pretty good, and thankfully I am happy that it worked, thank god, because I paid full price for that, it wasn't on a hot price, so <laughs> I'm glad that it was good. And actually, I feel like it's made my, it feels like my skin you know like when you can when you touch and it's just like you, f you can feel the product and whatnot like it's not cakey but it's just like you can just feel the powderiness or whatever but the spray really sunk it in and it really just absorbed everything like my skin and the makeup and just meshed it all together really nicely um, so it maybe that probably took about half an hour to an hour, I think, until it all actually formed really nice into the skin. Um, but before that, it was just like I could see my little, the fine hairs on my face, like on, like on your forehead or little hairs around your cheeks and whatnot. Like those really, really tiny ones. Like it was so noticeable and it was just so bad. And I thought it was going to stay like that, but no, it didn't. So. That was really good. So I hope this helped and um, yeah, actually liking the spray. So let me know what you guys think of that and if you guys have purchased it as well and how it's turned out for you. Did it? Did the same thing happen? I just want to know if it's just mine or has that been happening to everyone else as well. So that would be really good to know. Um, but yeah.
yeah so that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this little morphe haul that i have presented to you guys and i hope you really like the colors as much as i did um they were freaking beautiful so hope you guys are all staying safe and well at home and i will see you all in my next video